I get this question a lot. You, how do you come up with cool model ideas? Or how do you go from a blockout stage to a detailing stage? If this is what you're struggling with, then this video is for you. I'll show you the entire process from a cube to a finished model and hopefully you'll pick up some useful tips for creating better models in Blender. Let's go. Let me show you how easy it is to come up with a blockout and then move on to mid detail stage and then to tertial details if you know what you're doing. I want to help you overcome this kind of an artist block when you look at the scene in Blender and you have no clue what to do. Now, if you're a complete beginner, I would highly recommend grabbing our Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender course, which will teach you all the basics, the UI, you know, the basics of Hard Surface, how to model, how to render, how to texture. The course is free and we have over 76,000 students who enrolled and um, it, this course helped them tremendously. Now, if you are a bit more seasoned in Blender and you're starting using add-ons, then we have another course called Sci-Fi Terminal Design Blender, in which we are using hardups and box cutters. So if you wanna get into add-on workflow, you know, grab that. Now I'm gonna be using add-ons in, and both links to those free courses are in the video description. So enjoy. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using hardups and box cutter because you know who doesn't. And we're gonna create some uh, like a simple silo here. So we're gonna start with a cylinder and we're going to go here right away and change number of verse to 60. We wanna make this cylinder a bit more dense uh, because we're gonna be cutting it, right? So let's just, you know, uh, put it somewhere here and we're going to apply scale, right? And let's sharpen it. Now, what I wanna do right, uh, right away is create a bottom here, like, like a base, right? So let's just grab this face and shift curve extract down and now you know uh, let's just actually solidify it a bit more there we go and now if i wanted to scale this i can't because my origin point is here since i ripped this face off of this mesh so i'm going to move it with uh, machine tools to geometry now if you do not know how to use machine tools um, make sure that you watch my videos on that i have two massive videos on machine tools so let's apply that with sharpen and um, let's just you know share this and maybe a little bit deeper. Um, and I'm going to run um, a end gun cut on this one. So I'm going to run it here, um, somewhere here and slice it. And I'm going to apply that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this uh, base here and I want to move it uh, further down here and I want to make it square. So I'm going to go to occlude and I'm going to press B for B select, grab these and I'm going to you know move them here with Alt A. Now Alt A is a line tool from Machine Tools. If you don't have it, you know, enable it uh, in Machine Tools menu. And if you don't know how to do it, again, watch my videos on how to do it. I have two massive videos on Machine Tools, like I told you. Now we're gonna clean this junk here. So let's go to Operations and Clean Mesh with um, Hard Ops. And we're going to unmark this edge because we don't need, we don't need to uh, mark sharp on this one and mirror to the other side with Mesh Machine. If you don't have a mesh machine, you can either go with mirror from hard ops or go to edit mode and go with mesh and symmetrize, right? Now, this one is cool, but I think it's a little bit too thin. So let's just turn this off and make it a bit thicker like this. That's cool. And now we're going to connect this silo to uh, the base. So, you know, let's just uh, insert it a bit, extrude it and extrude it down and we good to go and add a bevel here okay cool so this could be like you know a very rough base of what we're trying to do here this maybe it's a little bit too thick maybe a little bit thinner there we go it's better cool so now here in the corners what i want is i want to echo this kind of a silo situation so we could do is either grab this one and scale it or we could just simply cut it so let's go to dots the circle and we're going to run an edge here to create um, um, to enable a box cutter to find dots uh, that we can align the cut with this line here like this right so hold control and draw it and 32 um, vertices i think it's enough so we can actually you know what let's increase it to maybe 40 hold shift and increase it to 40. i think it's a plenty and let's just cut it in here like this and space right now let's apply this all right and also let's enable cavity because it's gone and enable bevel so you can see things a bit better 
grab this one and it should actually be a little bit bigger okay so let me just uh s shift z and scale it and move it somewhere here how we're looking i think we're looking better all right to insert it and then you know we're gonna extrude it there we go maybe that's too high somewhere here and we're going to create this kind of a situation here that kind of echoes this um you know top shape cool so now to separate this a bit from the base uh, we're going to run a chamfer here like this right so mark that and chamfer right and we're going to run a loop here uh, like this right and we're gonna run an em marker on that to insert it inside okay boom right that looks pretty cool so similar situation here we can actually run two of them in here so one here on this side and a thinner one here on the top right and you know rob your ankle that looks good now here on the top we're gonna create a, kind of like a dome so you know extrude it inside it actually let's just extrude it a little bit deeper so there we go and then extrude it here and create this kind of a dome situation boom right and then we can um we can actually you know what we could actually remove this a little bit higher so hang on gz and move it a bit higher we could run uh an em marker here on this right boom right so yeah there you go that looks pretty cool so now we got this echoing effect across these shapes so to make it more interesting what i want to do is i want to add two cylindrical shapes that's going to be at 90 degrees angle so uh, let's grab a cylinder and go to maybe 40 it's going to be a lot more than enough and then ry90 to rotate it g move it in here and let's just scale it a little bit here and then s shift x to scale it on y and z and you know it needs to be proportional so something like this maybe and move it somewhere here and then array it down. actually let's apply scale and then we're gonna array it down right so array it down here let's just scale it so s shift z it's a bit too big there you go i think that's better that looks kind of proportional remember to you know maintain proportions when you're doing things here yeah? let's do that and we can now you know create this and grab that one and insert it extrude it and boom and apply a bevel and bob jungle so we could be a little bit closer to be honest um this is gonna be a bit better create a larger distance here some kind of an opening here you know um and it's gonna be cool now let's grab a loop here and let's create a, kind of like a belt here maybe a little bit thicker so gg boom and q and shift curve extract like this and you know this may be a little bit too thick so modify solidify and some like that and sharpen and blend is gonna crush again cool so let's recover that we are using a power save so it should be fine Control s most recent and yes there we go so uh let's gonna i'm gonna change the interval to one minute because we work quite fast so gx move it in here q and not this one um shift curve extract there we go and sharp and boom and i'm gonna cut this from the top okay so let's just mirror this and then we're gonna grab that the cutter and you know cut it in here i can see that my cutter shifted to uh there we go to origin point draw point so let's just switch it to corner and we're good to go i think this is you know pretty decent maybe that's better uh, actually this is fine cool so that looks good and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some kind of an element here binding all of it together so let's go like cube and move it in here and expand this and make it a bit more narrow so you can see what the hell is going on maybe not as narrow right something like that and you know put it somewhere here uh, we could actually move it up a little bit to be honest this could be interesting actually when you know what this might be a bit better so something like this um here maybe sticking a little bit more out 
and we're gonna slice it yes so we're gonna slice it here like this let's see if it's gonna look cool i think it does sharpen let's apply scale and let's actually make it a little bit um thicker there we go apply scale again and we're gonna run a bevel here right and we're gonna run the bevel here and i'll take it to the other side we're gonna grab this one and inset it a bit and i'm gonna extrude it and scale it right? and apply a bevel okay and clean the sharp edges now here we're gonna create some cuts so uh, first of all, I think we could actually separate the top here, like this, with X. And then we could actually grab another cut and run a cut here, um, through this mesh here, like this, maybe like that. Okay, and press B for bevel, and then uh, we go to slice it, so E, and slice it, press T. And let me just see that. And I think we're good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That looks really awesome. Nice. And here we can create some kind of a you know vent or whatnot. But now you know let's stop adding more details to it. Let's focus on, on the left hand side. You see, like what I'm trying to do when I'm modeling, I'm trying to balance all the sides of the model. Because if you focus on one side of the model, you will lose track. And you can also start creating details that are not gonna be um, sort of uh, cohesive with the, the design so you need to jump back and forth quite a lot you know and, and experiment so let's grab this uh, face here uh, up to here let's go with uh, shift curve extract and you know extract it maybe not that thick maybe a little bit thinner kind of like a plating here there we go and what we're going to do is we're going to add some loops with ctrl r right to because we're going to cut it so you want to have more geo to control the shading a bit better and we're gonna go here and slice it here like that okay and see what happens that's pretty cool and slice it here above to create a bit more interest here on the top and let me just see that um, that's pretty cool this could be a little bit longer so uh, I have a scroll all the time this one GZ and drop it down and I think this is gonna be more interesting if we're gonna drop it down somewhere here I think that's pretty cool again two thirds one third one third two, two thirds you see what i mean i'm not cutting things in the middle i'm kind of offsetting all the time to create a bit more of a dynamic uh, situation yeah so one third two thirds you know what i mean uh middle is boring okay middle is boring um so uh here uh, again we're going to uh, run a loop and we're gonna do something like this and we're going to curve curve extract this create another strip and again we're gonna run some loops here and what we're gonna do is run another angle and cut maybe like this here right uh, it's slightly different angle uh, or we could just repeat the angle okay so we could kind of mimic the angle from here and we need to move this a little bit to see where it would fit in order to cause us the least amount of grief you want to find a place in your geometry that you know will not cause you issues here we can add another cut just for fun like this uh, maybe a larger one be like this right and move it somewhere here and just you know slice this geometry like that and then again let's just you know place it in a in a, in a position that you know again gonna cause not too much grief and here we could do the reverse so uh, we could actually go with a Union boolean so J for union E to extrude it this way and apply this right. How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. And uh, this one on the bottom could actually be moved downwards. Actually, hang on a second. Do we still have so defined on this one? Uh, we cannot do. We cannot do. I'm gonna make it a bit thicker and then ever scroll this and go here and make it a wider. There we go. See, because what I want to do now is I want to apply this and I want to grab this bit, insert it a little bit and move it down like this, right? So here, what I can do is I can create some cool stuff with the color. So what I could do is create kind of like a pillar here. Actually, even on this side, this would do kind of like that. And, you know, 
run a cut through it with shift so we're gonna shift it to life and then we're gonna ground the end gun and turn off the cyclic so you can run that kind of a cut with t you can make it wider and again t make it wider and move it, move it lower and slice it and this is quite interesting let me just uh ever scroll this and uh, one more time ever scroll this and then ever scroll the cutter there we go let's just move it a little bit boom see like you can find a position that doesn't really cause much grief and then we're going to you know mirror to the other side right and this is quite interesting uh, i think this cutter here could have a little bit of a lower bevel um so bevel maybe no bevel at all or maybe just you know maybe completely straight or just a um, kind of a lower bevel have a scroll here again and we're going to move it just a little bit up and down to see if you can find a little bit of a better situation there we go that's perfect that we probably should round up um you know these as well here in the middle but we can do it later i'll just leave it alone doesn't matter here in the front uh, i also want something so what we could do is uh, again um run a cube so cube and scale it and move it up here and we're gonna make it a bit longer and you know let's see you don't want it to make it as long as this one, you're gonna make it longer, so maybe the whole length, or almost the whole length of this, and, you know, whatever it is, um, uh, this side here, and we're gonna kind of move it forward, and then we're gonna apply scale, and we're gonna control alt click this edge to select the loop of edges, and we're going to bevel them like this, right? And then maybe this is a little bit too deep, so move it in here, S, Y, scale it, you know, something like this, and then uh, basically union. But before we do that, let's see uh, if we can add some more loops here to create a better shading, right? So now uh, booleans and union, and then sharpen. And you see it's really clean, except for this small bubble here. So let's just grab that, GG, move it down, alt text, and you know, you sort it here. We have some beef as well just uh, something encroaching on the bevel let's just combine these two here together so we're not gonna have any problems with bevel our text with your side sorted now here on, on the front we could run a chamfer so click out click and run a chamfer on this one and we could create some design here so we could run something like this maybe b and press j and then e right and borrow these so shift d and um you know uh, let's just mirror them to the side shift d and move them here or hold control to rotate it or just rz 90 and we're gonna scale them down and move them in here and actually scale them more so s shift y and move them somewhere here and mirror them to the other side right so we got something interesting here on the top which looks pretty cool it starts to really look awesome um here too we could have some chamfer just to you know echo this chamfer here um, so boom and the bevel is a little bit too big so we can just make it a bit smaller and again clean uh, sharp edges like this we could um, also have some elements here on the bottom so what we could do is grab a um, cube or actually we could just cut this let me grab this one and curve extract this wait a minute what's happening hang on hang on let me just apply this so let's apply that smart apply and then grab this one uh, this strip here and we're going to shift curve extract and we're going to s z shift s into g on then s z to make it thicker there we go g z move it up you want to create like a ring in here, okay? Kind of here on this side. Uh, maybe going a little bit taller here, right? Like that. And we're going to combine this. So, scale it in a bit. And then, uh, let's remove the bevel. You don't want to have bevels on cutters. Remember, we, we kind of borrowed this mesh. So, remove the bevel. And then, we're going to join them together. So, booleans and union. And then, we can sharpen this. And then... Uh, we can grab this edge here and drop it down like that, right? 
and we're gonna have to clean this thing here so uh, dissolve edges and here dissolve edges and then something's still going on here boom right wait 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 there we go now it's working and then i'll take so the side sorted and here what i want to do i want another element so we could do with a cutter uh so in uh, or in perspective mode not in orthographic just draw a cutter here maybe a bit wider and drive it in and then press j e and drive it out press b for bevel and shift click so we can have you know have it alive and we're gonna have to run some um, loops here yeah so you know supporting loops to mitigate the shading problem and grab this cutter here in Evan. and since we have a cursor in the middle we can array this around the cursor using uh, mesh tools um, so control click on radial array press x to fix the uh, axes and we're gonna array this i don't know um, maybe maybe five times and rotate it here like this this bit here doesn't matter this one also has to be mirrored there we go um and you know this is gonna be an interesting bit now this is coming out here which is not ideal so what we can do is uh, ever scroll this and then we can apply at the array and we can remove this one okay so press l x and delete it right vertices and also um yeah this one could stay over there so we have one two three and then we can mirror to the other side so you know select this one select this one and mirror and now you can see that we have one two three this one's a bit too thin so let's not mirror that let's just leave it like this and uh, what we're gonna do is um, remove this one as well so here press l and x and vertices and boom right done now we have some beef with shading here on this one are you seeing this so let's see what the hell is happening oh yes um we don't have any supporting edges here so we can actually create them by running something like this and then alt x and we sort it cool so we're looking pretty good i think uh here we get some problem on this one um so what we can do is select uh, select this face here all these faces go to vertex mode right and select this vert with shift and then alt a and align them and we could probably clean this so operations and clean mesh and remove this edge so dissolve edge and bob jankle and alt x and you sort it and here too we don't have any supporting edges so press k c to cut through and then click press a and that didn't work for some reason okay so we're gonna use our uh, box holder press k and slice it and you know press k and slice it and it's going to isolate this uh, shape there and here too just you know to add another element what we can do is run a, like a um like a cut so let's just switch to cut and select this and run a cut press w for a wedge hold control and click and then we can um run let me see this here what the hell is going on um oh yes i know what's going on i want to remove it from the, okay so let's apply this here so operations multiply let's grab this mesh here l and separate it selection and we're going to be cutting this mesh only okay so again one more time control boom and then we're gonna cut here kind of like vents so let's actually uh, introduce another bevel level Oh, let me tell you what i mean we have one bevel here going on on this mesh and i want to introduce a smaller bevel so what we can do is go to operations and step which will introduce secondary bevel to the stack and then when you cut press w to remove this um or wedge cut thing and press v to introduce an array and x to change the axis and scroll your mouse and we're gonna cut this like that and then we're gonna introduce a um knife cut here to fix this right so cut this like this press k and slice and let me see that what's going on in here um hang on why is it so bad let me see that ever scroll let me just expand this a little bit there we go move it down a bit and 
um, scale it just a little bit. There we go. And oh, this cut didn't go through. Fine. So let's apply the first boolean. Why this cut didn't go through? Shift two, and we do need to fix this shading, guys. So give me a second. Let's just slice it one more time. What the fuck? That's weird. Hmm. In this case, we're gonna do it differently. I just scroll this cutter, and we're gonna introduce an edge here, like this, in the middle to cut through, or like that. And this should help. We do have a problem with uh, shading here on this side, uh, so what we could do is change the um, change the bevel angle. So it's the small bevel here, this one. So what we can do is change the angle here to something smaller, and this should fix the problem. There you go. Right, and now I got this kind of a cool cut in this silo it's a bit of an advanced technique but you know it's pretty neat right so there you go guys um it's a, you know very simple silo um kind of cool design um, it's uh, really easy to come up with these shapes and forms if you know what you're doing and like i said start with something simple and then just kind of add you know basic elements to your design and move on from there try to sort of move around your design in order to you know to create a balanced uh, sort of a model so when you're modeling you know in one area make sure you bounce to another area and then bounce to another area to kind of uh, you know more harmoniously model uh, in a more harmonious way here uh, you could actually add something on the top to be honest um, another cube i have an idea kind of like a long cap here uh, maybe longer like this in the same shape so move it up See what I mean? Kind of like this. And we're going to scale this. And then front um, bevel here, I'm going to connect it with C to clamp it. So it's going to be a circle. And then we're going to clean that uh, with uh, three to remove double verts. And here we can create a, you know, kind of a smaller, uh, less. Actually, you know what? Let's make the same thing. It's cool. And then we're going to bevel this and also, you know, chamfer it. Right, like that. I think this is pretty cool. And it's going to create kind of like a cap on top of it. And maybe here we could add um, the same elements. So Shift D, R190, remove the array and, you know, move it in here and scale it. And just move it up here. And this is going to be really interesting, right? So now you can see that you can reuse elements to create echoing. Um, like I reuse these in here and then here. It's perfectly fine. It creates really interesting and dynamic. Here too, we're going to have some cut in the bottom to sort of, um, you know, um, echo these elements on the top. Uh, sort of like, you know, close the deal, so to speak, here in the bottom. So you could create like a, I don't know, some sort of a cut, maybe like this, you know, small one uh, going in. Right? And again, with the normals, boom, right? So we're gonna have this kind of uh, element pulling your eyes down all the way through this negative space here. And we could have some kind of a number here or name or whatever, uh, you know. Um, I think this is pretty cool. All right, guys, well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Like I said, if you are a beginner, make sure to grab our free jumpstart course for Blender. It will teach you all the basics, all the fundamentals and, you know, UI, how to model, how to render, how to set up all these tools, etc. Even how to use basic free add-ons like machine tools and PowerSafe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.